All right, here we are with our 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen pack, and we have two of them. They look the same, obviously. And it's got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on the front. It says Topps G Q 2022 in the middle, in the circle. And it has a little um, kind of tannish brown border and then a green border inside of that. On the bottom it says Major League Baseball, seven trading cards. Packs with a special insert may contain only three to five cards. Because sometimes you get a, a, a card that's thicker because it might be a memorabilia card or something special. All right. And our winner this week is uh, Dan Ronikowski this week. Um, thank you for the uh, support, Dan. And we'll get you um, the cards from this unless I find something that's really valuable that I think is valuable. I'll keep that since I bought it. And then you'll get some other free wax packs. So um, look forward to those. And I always appreciate your uh, everyone's uh, support. And thanks this week to Dan Ronikowski. So those will be coming to you, sir. Also want to give a quick shout out to Jason Ball Sports Weekly. Uh, check out his YouTube videos. They're really informative and, and fun to listen to and watch. All right, here we go. 2022 Topps Gypsy Queen. I don't know where they got that name. I should have looked that up more, but it's just so many different Topps products. Just remember, go to the YouTube right now if you want to watch the part of the podcast that we're ripping open the packs. All right, so looks like we have cards that look like a look like a picture, kind of like I, I mean, I know they all look like pictures, but they have a little. Um, Corner borders there. It looks like you could hang them up. Kind of like a, yeah, almost like a painting. Um, this one says C. Frazier at the bottom for Clint Frazier. And uh, has his picture, has <clears throat> his name at the bottom. It says outfielder under it. Almost looks like, and it has on the right side his, uh, who he plays for, like C-H-I for Chicago. And then GQ above that. And then just says base, GQ baseball cards. So take a good look at that if you're on YouTube. Pretty cool looking. On the back, it just gives, doesn't have a lot of uh, stats on it, but like Clint says, Clint Frazier, Chicago Cubs outfielder, uh, has the number 113 out of 320, GQ at the top for Gypsy Queen. It says a game ending 11th inning home run against the Rays on June 1st, highlighted an injury wrecked, wrecked 2021 season for Clint. He signed with the Cubs in November. So that's all. It has a little bit about each player on it. So um, have a nice texture to them. I think they're made really well. That's probably why they're expensive. All right. Next one we have here is Xander Bogarts. It looks like it's almost at the bottom where their name is. It's like um, a slot machine almost. Um, like when you pull down the lever on a slot machine, the Xander Bogarts, X Bogarts is like how you would line up the different uh, things in the middle of that slot machine. Um, next we have Logan Gilbert. Okay, so here's a regular base card, and then this one is N. Pearson, and it's a different colored border, and I would, I'm almost going to go out on a limb and say this is, they have another card that looks like this base card, the other base card, it's colors, and then this one's just a different color. Oh, also on the back, I see here it has 17 out of 399, so this is, I don't know how valuable this card is, but if you get one that has the numbers on the bottom, it's numbered and it's in gold. It says there's 17 out of 399. So out of this card, there are only 399 of them made. So that's why they have that um, stamped on the bottom of it, 17 out of 399. So that's one that you want to look up maybe on eBay, um, sold items and just see how much it went for. As I don't really know that guy, but um, who knows? Could be a young up and coming guy and could be worth something. Okay, and now we have another one that's a kind of a parallel. It's got a green border. This one is not numbered on the back. It just says it's just a different color. So it, it's um, less copies were made of the ones that are parallels. Um, so they're always a little more valuable, but you got to get a good player too. That helps. And this is Santiago Espinal with the green border. And we have Garrett um, Groget, maybe. And then... We have Adam Duvall. All right, that's our first pack. So really small packs of seven cards. I like the ones with 15, um, but we're gonna open another one. So we get 14 cards here in the two packs together. All right, 
We have Miguel Cabrera. He's a definite surefire Hall of Famer. That's a cool card. Um, oh, another surefire Hall of Famer, Justin Verlander. I think we had a Kurt Fax on him once. Um, Christian Javier. Ooh, another guy, if he plays for a while, he could be a Hall of Famer. And I love watching him. Shohei Otani. That's a great card. Love it. It says Shohei's 46 homers in 2021 were more than five times as many as any other player in a season in which that player also struck out 100 batters as a pitcher. Pretty awesome. All right, next we have a, a – um, this is a – Parallel. It's got the green borders. It's Keston Hyera. And we have one that's a rookie card. And it is Luis Gill. And you can see that it's a rookie card if you're watching on YouTube. Down the right-hand corner, there's an RC for rookie card. And he's also a Yankee. And then we have Isaac Paredes. So those are our 14 cards of 2022. Tops Gypsy Queen. And... Uh, we're going to say, I'm just kind of thinking of this off the top of my head, our throwback player for Curtis to research for Kurt Fax next week is going to be Mike Schmidt. It just came into my head. Mike Schmidt. All right, we're going to go back and finish up the podcast, and thanks for tuning in on the YouTube side.